You're good to go. Good? All right, good. So I want to make two quick notes, uh, just sort of like touching up on some details that I covered in the technique prior, and then we're going to uh, talk a little bit about this ankle grab. So number one, this hip frame, okay? What I want to do with this hip frame is I want my elbow poking out on one side and my hand, the back of my hand wrapping around on the other side. Why? Covered the elbow. Take your hands off the floor and you try to circle to like an S mount to your left side kind of thing. This elbow frame will block it. If I pick my feet up, keep spinning. He'll, he'll just spin around that elbow. He can't get until he clears this elbow. He can't get behind me. Just circle back. But also, if he tries to circle up to the right, go ahead. My hand frame blocks him from going there. Right. So I kind of have this little joystick. Where's the I kind of have this little joystick here with my elbow and hand. If I need to put some pressure in my hand to keep him from circling up here, then I can do that. And if I have to put some pressure on my elbow to keep him from circling up there, oh, then I can't make him, then I can stop him from doing that. Okay, does that make sense, guys? Yes. So it's very important with posture, at least, that this frame is across the body all the way. Elbow on one side, hand on the other, and I like back of the hand wrapping around. So like kind of pointing my fingers behind it. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is um, I want to make one note that I think I kind of breezed past a little in the last technique about the finish of this elbow escape. So if I get you, boom, right, I'm here, I scoop the foot, right, pivot, knee, chop, and then we have our elbows out. Can I get everybody on this side? So I mentioned how, oh thank you, yeah, thank you. So I mentioned how I'm going to open up my legs to finish this thing, meaning that if I keep holding, it's like my own elbow escape will block me. And I see people get stuck here. Like they'll get the foot and then they're kind of like stuck at this point and they're trying to finish and drive the elbow down and they get so committed that their shoulders come off the floor and then if he bucks my elbow across his body and circles behind me and then they end up in this sort of fight. So if that looks familiar, that's why that's happening to you. Because you're getting, you're not opening up the guard in order to actually recover the half guard. So we go back. Like right now, I'm kind of in a technical mount sort of situation. So let's go back to your knees a little heavier, right? So in order for me to get this, I do kind of have to open up my legs a little. What I'm going to do here, guys, um, and we're going to talk about some details if he's really heavy on this leg right now, uh, but not quite yet, is if, his, if I can get the knee off of the floor onto my thigh, I kind of open, and I'm, I'm kind of over-exaggerating how much I open, guys, but like in the sense of I'm not... Hold it really tight, I open, and then this elbow is gonna, I'm gonna do that same sort of oblique crunch to get this elbow uh, to wedge his knee downward while my knee comes up and touches and goes under my elbow. So watch this relationship, guys. You see that? So if I, let me get you for just a second. So if I were here, it's like I have it bit down in this sort of quarter guard type situation. When I'm ready to open up, I crunch and knee up high. That makes sense, guys. I would like this knee to be under my elbow. So I'm gonna grab it one more time. We're here, right? Go through everything. Boom. Sweep. Pivot. Knee. Catch. Slice. Wedge. Right? Does that make sense, guys? So from here, once I'm ready to boogie, I'm doing that crunch, kind of open up my control, and I slice that knee up. And then the big thing here is, guys, is that this leg underneath. Like if you guys look, check this out. See the relationship where like his knee is kind of, uh, you almost say kind of in a line, on a line with his hip. Watch what I can do by pressing this knee forward and this knee downward. You see what I'm doing there, guys? I can literally, let me pick your foot. I should watch just your knee. Just keep your foot floating so I don't hurt your knee as I jump into this. I'm pushing one knee up into his butt as I pull the knee down, which allows me to feed it to this foot. Can you guys see my feet there? I feed it to my foot so I can plant and pivot. And that's the relationship of my legs going on there. Is I'm here, right? So I do this big crunching motion, boom. And then I use this leg bumping into the back of his thigh while the top leg pushes down on his knee like something like this. Which allows me to bless you, transfer that knee to this leg, plant this foot, and pivot. That stuff makes sense, guys? There's some fine-tuned details, but they're very useful in this elbow escape situation. One more what if. What if 
bend, they get heavy on that knee. What do I do then? What if I got John and I get to that point, I'm in the sort of quarter guard, right? And he gets this heavy knee heavy to the floor, right? So now I'm here and uh, let's say your right knee's still on the floor. Like, right, you're just like stupid heavy to where I can't get this. You guys see, you know what I'm talking about? So basically in a quarter guard kind of situation. What do I do? Well, guys, can I move the key? Get that arm on the other, out of my way. Here's the cool thing. We talked about how I can use my bottom knee pushing into the back of his thigh while the top leg pushes his knee down to sort of almost like crowbar his leg out into a different alignment. Does that make sense, y'all? Watch what happens when I put pressure with this leg, this uh, leg that's still in the half guard, on the back of his ankle while this foot starts stripping. Oh, can we get out of here for a second? Can you get into the mount against the visible thumb? So you're on that. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm doing here is as one leg pushes his ankle to the floor, as I shrink, my other leg picks his knee up off the floor. Does that make sense, guys? So if we go back. We're in the quarter guard. So I went for my elbow escape and he dropped heavy on that knee. So guys, watch this. Knee taps up, calf or hamstring presses down, and I'm crowbarring that leg over. Put all your weight on that. It's like, dude. That's my whole body against that. That's my whole body fighting that. I'm gonna win that fight. Like I have a really good chance of winning that fight. We're here. <coughs> and then at this point, really, you kind of finish it however you want. We'll go with like, the simple one, is I'm here. And then I go. Normally this hand won't be on that side, but he's just moving it to accommodate me so we all, all can see my beautiful face. But generally speaking, it's still gonna be over here. So let me get you out of here. Oh, no, you got bad knees, you got bad knees, you got bad knees. <laughs> Um, you got bad knees. You got bad knees. Alex got bad knees. Yep. I had surgery on mine, so it's good. <laughs> That's not the right answer. That's like the first thing someone says before their knees about to get shredded. Okay. <laughs> Jeremy's a Jeremy's a Spartan over here. You know, I feel like this is like going into the spaceship in Armageddon. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> when Tyler just kissed him, it's like wild. Um, so bridge, big hand pose, right? Scoop. I'm doing all this on my dumb side, guys, by the way. This is all demoed on my stupid side. Think about how good this technique would look on my good side. Uh, dude, you can keep your hand there for this one. So elbow wedges in, right? And I'm scooping the ankle, but he gets heavy on this knee to where I can't just wedge. So now, guys, look, this leg, this top leg gets heavy. This bottom foot scoops up, and I shrimp at this point, shove in the half guard, shrimp out, and recover. So it's this kind of here. Does that make sense, everybody? Mm -hmm. Let's part not work out. Last one. One, two, three. <laughs>